We getting anonymous texts and shit. This shit is spooky. You get my number, nigga. Okay. Now, just to let you guys know, we've been trying to figure out who Ebony Prince is. They are 100% the mole. They do not appear to be one person. It, in fact, seems to be the entire house of Ebony. There are multiple people tweeting from that, taking turns, whatever. You guys, we're going to go live about this because it looks like the truth will expose they said you got for academics and drake you got till noon drake used the lgbt community specifically the house of ebony to host caviar parties caviar parties are diddy style freak offs that involve youngins maybe animals and definitely any other fetish christopher alvarez it is assumed something bad happened to him while he was with drake Kendrick seems to have known that's why he put that ventilator and when he said Sandra your boy's a 6'6 six, six man baby he meant it okay let's get back into um these tweets the regulars there could buy you a hundred times over yet your staff will try and move them out the way do you see the insanity at first I was annoyed when that new third party company took my department I was provided with no company information, not even employee handbook. Then I realized, well, whatever, I've signed no agreements to anything. So let's see how this plays out. Ebony Prince, again, this is this account is being manned by multiple people. One person in the house of Ebony, it seems like was a security guard. They are letting us know through this. They signed no NDA. They also say, when you leave a wake of annoyance and stress in your path, that makes most people's skin to crawl. On top of costing people to be fired. I tweeted yesterday that Meet the Grim is going to go down as the greatest diss of all time. Part of the reason why I said that is because I'm watching to see how much stuff is going to start coming out. Because for me, I just don't think Kendrick's the type of person to come out and just bold face lie for the sake of a battle. With that being said, I need y'all to listen to this real quick. Uh, uh. Now, if you know Kendrick, he's very intricate and everything, but just think about this. That sounds very deliberate. Like, why did it take so long for the instrumental to even start playing? And what is that sound in the back? So if you aren't aware, someone who is either the mole or someone who got information directly from Drake's camp came out recently and broke the silence. He came out and recorded the things that were on the cover for Meet the Grams, and he threatened legal action against Drake and academics for calling him a thief and basically revealing that none of it was planted and that it's probably real. But Mr. Aubrey Graham, Drake, may this photo help jog your memory as to where you discarded those items. The issue in the photo should also jog your memory. Jimmy Brooks would not have been proud of you that night. Stick with me. I've been going down a rabbit hole. Other people have posted this Reddit thread where people have been discussing that sound at the beginning of 616 and a bunch of respiratory therapists have been commenting saying it sounds like some sort of portable ventilator. When analyzing the CCTV footage that was put out there by that person who might be the mole or something who has information, they've analyzed that you can see the tubes in the picture of that person in that wheelchair and they might be carrying a portable ventilator someone asked their girlfriend who's a nurse and they said it sounds like a ventilator i would ask my mom who's a nurse but she's asleep um any nurses let me know if it sounds like it to you but i didn't know what any of this means and then i went back to the tweet that he put out and it, bro the issue in the photo should jog your memory jimmy brooks would not have been proud of you that night who's jimmy brooks jimmy brooks is fucking wheelchair jimmy the character that drake played what did Drake do to the person in the wheelchair that Kendrick knows about that he put ventilator sounds at the beginning of the track specifically to warn about because that track was a warning and what is this why Drake wanted to bow out and be like oh I'm not gonna diss you no more because you projecting your trauma and he lied about the lyric he tried to use to set that groundwork does he really want this shit to stop He airdropped that video to himself, and while he was on, he looked at it, airdropped that video to himself, and while he was on live stream, that video was playing. His fans, uh, his fans actually said that, and this is from their words, not mine, that DJ Academics looked scared. DJ Academics 
look terrified. They said, bro seems scared. He just said, keep me out of this. I've never been to a freaky A party at The Mark. Let's also not forget that The Mark was the hotel listed in Jeffrey Epstein's Little Black Book. Are you ready to dive into the world of mystery and intrigue? Subscribe now to our murder mystery channel, where we deliver the latest in hip-hop news, unsolved crimes, and up-to-date current events. Hit the bell for notifications, support our superstars and members' subscriptions, and join us as we unravel the secrets together. Your support fuels our passion. Thank you for being a part of our community. Keep enjoying the content, and let the mystery unfold.